I had my friends who came to me and said, Maddie, we are very good engineers, buddy. We were really good at what we're doing. But the problem is I can't speak in English. I can't speak in Marathi. So when they come from Tata's and Kirloskas for campus selections, I'm not able to communicate to them. They don't even observe a Kolhapuri boy wearing a terry cotton pant and a shirt and wearing chappals and don't even consider that he's a good, he could be a good engineer. So when I said the fault lies with you guys, it's you have to break the clutter. Nobody's going to come and say, hey, you know what, maybe you're a good engineer, let me give you a shot. You have to be noticed in that very first instant. And I started teaching them how to present themselves in the interview. And then I started with basic things on how, how to shake hands, how to look somebody in the eye and speak, how do you introduce yourself? How do you shake hands with a lady as opposed to a man? These are basic things you have to know that. You have to know how to dress correctly. You have to know if you have body odor. You have to know whether you're spitting on people's face and how to stop it when you're speaking. If you don't do these things, ladies and gentlemen, you will be in an average life, doing an average job and living an average life. Having said that, I'm not saying that is wrong. That could be your calling. My father is very happy living that sort of a life because they don't live in extremes. But if you have a passion and if you have a desire to be exceptional, if you have a desire to be seen apart from the crowd, then this is the bare minimum thing you should do.